Hey guys, um, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for the end of your February going into uh, March. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, okay? What's surrounding you guys when it comes to love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation okay uh, keep in mind that these are general messages uh, you can switch the roles if you want if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Leo in love. Tell me about Leo in love. Over energies for Leo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. For uh, the end of their February going into March, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. Nine of Wands and the Magician. I just feel like you're tired. You're tired of putting in all the effort and nothing's coming of it. Okay, I just feel like you're doing everything that you can to keep a situation, to keep a relationship together, but it's just not working here. You're just beat down. You're tired here, uh, Leo. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Four of Swords. Uh, we have the Death card. So what's happening here is I feel like there is a situation that's not changing. It's not getting any better. And I feel like you're you're disconnecting yourself from this situation. You're perhaps ending the connection here. The Death card, Scorpio energy. We have the Seven of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. So what's happening here is that I feel like, I feel like there's a situation that you're in where you just don't trust this person. Because I feel like this is an individual that has lied to you here. This is an individual that has hurt you. This person has manipulated you. Uh, and I just feel like you're walking away. Yeah, I just feel like your intentions was always to work things out with this individual here, but I just feel like it's just not, it's just not working. And you're realizing that it's better off not to speak with this person anymore. You know, I feel like you're, uh, this is coming to your awareness or that you're becoming conscious of this situation that, you know, I have to accept what I'm seeing here and experiencing. You know, I feel like you're finally seeing the truth here. Okay, I feel like you're finally going to take off and, and, and basically move away from this and take this elsewhere. Some of you guys are really focusing on your creativity right now. Focusing on, you know, just uh, focusing on just connecting with your intuition here because th this situation that you're in right now, Leo, there's just too much conflict here. Energies we have here so far, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. Tell me about the person that uh, Leo's dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo for the end of their February going into March? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. We have the Ten of Pentacles here and the King of Cups. We have the Fool card here and the Justice card and the Eight of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is an individual that's turning their back on this relationship here. I mean, this person's true feelings and intentions, I feel like this person does love you, but I just feel like this person's just not really fully invested into this connection. It seems like they're trying to like take off here and move away from this and cut this out too. The Fool, Aries energy, the Justice card, Libra energy, the Eight of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this is so interesting because I, if anything, I feel like this person wants to work on their friendship here with you. Yeah. I'm really confused by this person here because this King of Cups has turned away from this Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like with the Strength card here and the Six of Cups, this person has a very strong soul tie here with you. 
maybe a past life soulmate connection. You got the two of cups and the lovers here. Wow. You know what this person's intentions and true feelings are? It's like they love you, okay? The thing is, like, they, they don't want to rush this relationship. They want to take their sweet old time and kind of like, they want to get to, they want to get to know you. They want to enjoy this process here and then maybe dive into a, a commitment here. But for now, with the Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups, it's kind of like more of an energy of like, you know what? I just want to have a good time. I want to go out there, experience the world here. You know, I just want to, you know, have fun here with you. Eight of Pentacles here and a Five of Cups. You know, I, I feel like this person was not honest with you because I feel like this person was scared that you would reject them. But I do feel like this person regrets not being honest with you. Yeah. About, you know, wanting to take, take things slow, wanting to get to know you first, not wanting to rush here. Uh, it, it seems like it was, you were pulling teeth here with this individual because I feel like you were so confused, you know? So uh, outcome and advice here for Leo regarding their love situation. What else does Leo need to know, look out for, and work on here for the end of their February going into March? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. That was the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords. The Emperor and the King of Wands. You know, eventually I do feel like this person is going to step up to the plate here. Yeah, they are going to step up to the plate here. Eventually they, they, they're, they're, they're going to change, they're, they're going to change their mind. Yeah, they're going to change their mind here. We have the devil here in the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they're going to fixate on, you know, bringing this together with the devil and the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, they're going to realize that you're the one. Okay, with the star card, that they do want this really badly. Five of Swords, the star card, Aquarius energy, the Emperor Aries energy, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the, Cap uh, the Devil Capricorn energy, the Five of Pentacles. They're definitely going to realize that they're, are they, they're, 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 they're feeling alone. Because I feel like you, were, you felt like you were under the impression that things are moving forward towards something here, but I just feel like you're, you, you, I think, you know, you stepped away. I just feel like you're you're done with this. The Emperor and the Two of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Six of Wands. This could be indication that maybe this person has a hard time making a decision, and that's why they're in the space that they're in. You know, just wanting to take things, things slow. But I, I do feel like they're going to come to that realization and I, I feel like they're going to change their, their mind about this situation here. The uh, t devil and the ten of wands, the ten of cups here in the world. You know, it could be a situation that you're feeling, you you felt like or that, that you're feeling like this is starting to become toxic and I feel like you might be dropping this. But this person could be obsessed about wanting to bring this together, Leo. Uh, bring this back together or pursue happily ever after here. Okay, so Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.